okay, Rolex Daytona Gold with the green face. This is special to me because it's Milwaukee Bucks green. <laughs> and you're soon to be potentially an owner of the car. Yeah, my 1%. <laughs> <laughs> me whatever you want. Just be, just be ready to get asked a question back. Today's an exciting day for me because I'm amongst friends who are also two watch collectors that need little introduction. It's great to see you, Mark. Great to see you, Michael. Um, Mark Lazary, CEO of and co-founder of Avenue Capital and co-owner of the Milwaukee Bucks. Michael Strahan, defensive. I do everything. Do everything. Yeah. Journalist, entrepreneur, astronaut. Astronaut. I love it. Yeah. Owner of the buck. <laughs> well, well, right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really privileged to have you guys here. You know, watches have brought us together, but I'm also fortunate to call you guys friends and also investors and partners in Watchbox. One of the things that I love to see is, you know, we all have these shared passions in life, and I know both of you guys are collectors. I know Mark, you're a big comic collector. You like wine and. Michael, there's nothing that you don't collect. Cars, <laughs> sneakers, uh, should I go on? No. <laughs> stop, stop, stop reminding me of too much stuff. So Mark, you've been collecting, obviously, many different things. What brings you to be a collector? What brings that out in you? Why do you like collecting? You know, I think you collect things that make you happy when you were a kid, mm -hmm. right? That you, it brings this happy memory, mm -hmm. right? So for me, comic books, I used to collect them. I used to read them when I was a kid. So as you start making some money, you start buying the things that uh, remind you of your youth. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was just great. Watches for me were, um, you, you always wanted to get, when you started working, you always wanted to get a really nice watch. Mm -hmm. And you start off where, um, when I got married, my wife's uh, family gave me a Rolex. Uh, that was our wedding gift. Um, and so I remember I had to call my parents and go, listen, I, I got a Rolex. You gotta get my wife something really nice. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, uh, okay, what should we get? And we got her a Cartier watch. But um, from that moment on, I was just infatuated with watches. Right. I really was. Was that the first watch that started it off for you? It really was. It right. was the first watch, and then I just started, um, every time I'd get a bonus, or every time I'd make money, I'd go buy another watch, and I think I've got like 75 watches. I just love. That's uh, a serious collection. Yeah, I just love them, and then you didn't realize, I mean, I don't, I don't know if you noticed it also, you'd buy watches, and then they went up in value. Oh yeah. Right, and you didn't, <laughs> you were like, oh my God, I'm having a blast. I bought it for me, yeah. I didn't buy it for it, but now I'm looking going, I have more money in watches than <laughs> yeah. anything else. I love that. No, yeah. it is, and that's, that's actually what's fun about it, mm -hmm. that it's, you're buying something that actually goes up in value, Yes. and you enjoy it. Yes. And that's what's, you love that. And over time, since you started collecting, has it gotten easier with technology to collect? Because information is more freely available, I suppose. It is, but you, you, you end up like, you know, part of the reason I love your company, right? It's made it easier. Yes. Right? And you get to see the watch you want, and you sort of, you know what you've got in your collection, so you're picking different watches. So yeah, technology has made it easier, because normally you just went to a dealer. Yes, yeah. And That's it's whatever he had. Yes. So it's, 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 the world's changed so quickly. I know. I want to dig in, because we've got some great watches here, which this is like adults show and tell. <laughs> and I really would love to dig in, and you know, Michael, perhaps if you can start first and tell us well, a little about I'll what you I'll be very honest with yeah. you. It's very hard when you say bring a, like three or four wives. Like I was, I was look, I sitting there looking, going, <laughs> "This is impossible." I just wanted to take the whole safe and walk in here with a safe <laughs> on my shoulder. That would have been a lot easier. But I mean, every watch that I have does mean something to me, and mm -hmm. I'm very right. much like you. I bought everything for a reason. I didn't buy it to say, "Oh, it's going to go up in value." Right. It's like something that meant something to me in that moment. And I love watches, and I, and I bought these watches, and I wear them, and when I wear them, it's like I'm in a certain frame of mind. Yes. Mm -hmm. It puts me back either to memory or in a certain, like, mood. And so the watches that I, I brought today, obviously, this is one of the, one of the, the IWC Big Pilot watch, one of the first versions of it. Right. And I bought two of these. And Why two? Because my son has one. Right. So of everything I have, this is... Financially, like number-wise, not the most valuable watch, mm -hmm. but emotionally, um, this is the most valuable watch that I have because my son and I both have the same watch. It's like a father-son So what age combo. did you give it to him? I gave it to him when he graduated from high school. That's incredible. Yeah. 
which was a little risky because college kids lose stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and I know I lost some stuff that I had to tell my parents, no, I still got it. I never had it. But um, he still has his. He's more responsible than, than I am. But I just love this watch because it's big, it's simple, it's just, I don't know, it's just something about this watch that just fits me. And I'm not a, um, a, a smaller guy. No. So I, for the most part, gravitate towards watches that have a little more size to them. But even lately, though, I've gone more with watches that, you know, that everybody else could, anybody yeah. could wear, you know. Yeah. So that, that is what's special to me about the IWC Big Pilot. Um, okay, Rolex Daytona go with the green face. This is special to me because it's Milwaukee Bucks green. <laughs> <laughs> and you're soon to be potentially an owner of the company. Yeah, my 1%. <laughs> 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 but for Mark, I bought this watch. You know, he, you know I, I just I bought it because I just love it. I love um, it's, it's a great color. It's just yeah. a great color. It's a great combo, and I hadn't seen it before. And I have a lot of iterations of the um, Daytona. The Daytona, but there's just something about wearing this watch. I mean, I just, I feel sexy when I wear this, man. I feel sexy. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I feel sexy. <laughs> so you walk out the house feeling sexy. You do too. I need a watch to make you, you feel that yeah. way. Don't put it on, yeah. man. Don't no, I don't want to put it on. Or if I don't, put it don't, on. Don't get a start. They, they won't even be able to look through the lens at me on those cameras. It's too much for them. But, but that watch has gone up so much in value. You know? Yes. And, and I, you know, when I look at Watchbox and I see the value, and I really go, holy smokes, is that real? Right. But it's, it's real. I've learned about brands that I never would have thought about, known about. Right. It's like I an agree. education. Right. And that's what I love because I do have a watch here that I didn't know anything about until you introduced me to them. And now it's one of the most beautiful watches that I've gotten so many compliments on. Uh, it was perfect because it went to space with me. Right. The next two <laughs> went to space with me. But this, De Bethune. Look how beautiful that is. It is, it's cool. Yeah, it's beautiful. Got a little Star Trek yeah. like vibe to it, little space vibe. It is so lightweight that you almost forget like you have you have it on your wrist. Uh, manual, I mean this is just a, the quality of what this watch is is second to none. Absolutely second to none. Go ahead. Take a take a nice little gander That's at nice. that piece. So they make 170 watches a year and That's it. handmade. Yes, it's uh I love it. Thank it's you. It's very special. No, piece. no, no, it's not a gift. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, you just, you, no, it's just fact, this, this is not a, let's, let's clear that up. Let so, me put so, that back right there. So, so this is the watch you brought to space. This is the watch I brought to space. That went to space with me, and this went to space with me. Um, um, it had the Rolex white gold, meteorite faced. Yeah, kind of like contrasting. This is really heavy, and that's really light. But with the meteorite face, mm -hmm. and then with the, the vibe the De Bethune, I, um, I just said these watches feel like they should go up in orbit a little bit. And, you know, I, I, each one of these puts me in a, like a different, different vibe. I mean, some of them are more every day. And I think these, these two are more like when I'm feeling a little special. These two I can pretty much pull out on an everyday basis. And, um, yeah, and then, and then I'm wearing a, um, wearing a paddock. Oh, yeah. 59.90. Yeah. So... Which has just been dis oh, I like that one. discontinued. Discontinued. I had no idea when I bought it they were going to stop making it, which only makes it better. Yeah. So, oh, but but uh, but I love I love this. This is just kind of you know what got me about paddocks. Tell me. Talk about marketing. Mm -hmm. I n I'll never forget being like uh, young and uh, not really being able to afford a watch, and and, and seeing those ads that say you never really own a paddock. You just take care of it for the next generation. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that sounds so cool. And so. Oh, right, right. <laughs> Now I'm taking care of this for the kids. That's right. the way I look at so it. So how, how do you think about allocating these watches to the next generation? <laughs> you know, I had to think about that because when I went to space, you had to think about all the mm -hmm. things that could possibly happen. Yeah. And I've allocated certain ones to my kids, certain ones to a few friends who right. I know really appreciate it and right. would mean something. And then the other ones, they got, there's somebody else who's going to enjoy the ownership of them, right. and um, the kids will enjoy the financial benefit. So, <laughs> I didn't get the email of yeah. the watch I was supposed to get. Well, I didn't. I don't. I didn't tell my friends. Oh, okay. Got it. Got some it. Some of them <laughs> might might try to get that watch early, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Mark, I think I think it was this one. Is that? Yeah, 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 probably that one. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, thanks for that. It's great. Of course. Mark, Mark, tell us a little about what you bought to show and tell today. Sure. Uh, <laughs> so, so, so the first one is sort of the Rolex that um, 
you know, I've, as Michael said, I've gotten into uh, Buck Screen. So anything that looks a little bit in reminiscent of the team, the, our team colors, I love. And then on the back of it, it says, uh, you know, NBA champions. So uh, it's a cool watch to wear. And so every time I wear it, um, you know, you sort of think about back when we won the championship and I got to hold the trophy. Um, and as Michael knows, there's no greater feeling than yeah. <laughs> winning a championship. I mean, it's, uh, I, I, I can't imagine doing it as a player. It's got to be fabulous. I was happy for you as a player owner. It doesn't matter because yeah, it, it takes everybody to make it happen. It does. So yeah. it was, I think that was great. Um, this one, I just love, um, it's a little bit of what Michael said. I, I love, uh, I, I love Panerai's just because it's a bigger face. Right. So as you get older, your eyesight goes. <laughs> 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 and so the bigger, the bigger face is so nice to see. So I love, uh, having the Panerai. Um, was that early in your collecting journey? Yeah, it was, because you know what, they were, um, they're, they're just cool watches, mm -hmm. and I love the history of them being sort of from the, sub, you know, Italian submarines and everything. And I just love the face, and, you know, they're waterproof, so you swim, you do everything with them, you never really worry about it. Um, this is the first Patek I got, um, so that's why it's, I, I just love the face. Mm -hmm. It's... Uh, Super simple, it's classic. Um, this is my second one. Of that same model? Of the same model. Um, the problem I have, see Michael's nice, he, he actually gives one to his son. Um, I've got two boys, so one son is also a watch collector. Right. So whenever he comes over, he just goes and takes watches. <laughs> and comes and gives you one of those big hugs and goes, I love you, Dad. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm like, uh, that's my favorite watch. Uh, hey, <laughs> you looking to adopt. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm kidding up. But, but that's a special watch. That's the 5070G. Yeah. And it was mm -hmm. the last, it was the last Lemania movement made before they went in-house because they went up to the 5170G afterwards. Oh, okay, cool. So that's a really collectible timepiece. This watch is really cool. Um, it was given to me by President Clinton, mm. and it's a Shinola. Um, and what's cool about it is you've got the uh, presidential seal on the front, oh, wow. and it's supposed to be about Air Force One, so it's Air Force One blue. And then on the back, you've got the seal of the president, and wow. it says Air Force One. Now that is wow. cool, too. Wow. So it's just, um, it's a great watch to have. Um, and I like wearing it because everybody sees it and goes, oh, wow, that's so cool. And then they realize there's a presidential seal, and they're like, um, how'd you get that? And I try to tell them I was president. Um, but they go, I don't remember. <laughs> when were you president? I'm like, okay, well, technically I wasn't. I was with the president. I was with the president, so Whoa. it's close enough. Um, so, yeah. And then this, you know, when you win a championship, you try to always bring your championship ring to anything you go to. <laughs> well, that, that, <laughs> right? Why not? Yeah. I why not? Why. So, um, yeah, That's so awesome, we won though. this. Now that you know you guys are both you know very successful, achieved so much. You know, I just realized we've got an NBA champion winner, and we've got a Super Bowl champ right here. But what's next for you guys? If you think about you collecting, what's the next thing that you cr collect across so many hobbies? Other things that you haven't collected so far that you've just out of reach or you haven't been able to get cars, watches. Spaceships? <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to get adopted. I mean, that's really my focus right now. <laughs> You're in. You got nothing to You know, it, but it, it, it's funny because watches are something I will never stop collecting. Cars I love, and that was, that was the one thing when I was a kid, like cars, and I collect cars now. But actually at points, I kind of go, eh, the car thing, I love it, I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. There are certain ones that I feel so attached to. But I can almost see myself in a lot of ways, you know, getting rid of a lot of cars, divesting myself of that just for more watches. Right. Because just so much easier to it is. collect easier. and maintain and enjoy. And I don't feel guilty when I look at a drawer full of beautiful watches because it's so easy to snap one on for a few hours or a day. Yes. But when you walk into a garage and look at a uh, room full of cars and you go, I haven't driven that thing in months. What's right. the purpose? So I, I think for me it's more probably refining and toning down my collecting, more from cars, right. more into watches. Right. Um, other than that, really nothing, I mean, I, I, not by choice, but by chance, just collect a lot of tequila and vodka and <laughs> bourbon and whiskey. 
<laughs> every 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 birthday or something, my friends give me some. I'm like, you think I'm an alcoholic or something? I heard I'm you like tequila. I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> and how about you, Mark? Is there anything that in your collecting journey that is the one thing that you want to attain? No, I think I, I love what I've got right now, and I want mm -hmm. to continue that. I think it's a little bit of what Michael said. I think sort of refining your collection, right. adding to things. It, it, things that give you happy memories. Yes. I think as we all get older, yes. it's things that make you happy. So yes. um, I think you know the great thing about cars is you see a car that reminds you of when you were 16. Yes. And you're like, oh, I want to have That's that. That's the weakness. Yes. Right. And yeah. then you get in that car, and you're like, oh, there's no power window. There's no, this. There's no cup holder. <laughs> I'm, so there's no, yeah, I'm spoiled now. Right? And, I, and then you go, uh, <laughs> I, you know what? No. Yeah, I should have just drove it for an hour and gave right. it back. Yeah. No, but that's what a lot of this is. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, I think as we all get older, uh, part of it, um, you know, and I see it with my kids, you, you want to give things you know, these memories to your children. Yes. Right? Yeah. That's why you bought your son. Like when my son graduated from college, we bought him a watch and we put on, you know, we engraved it. Um, you know, congratulations, you know, love mom and dad. But you want things that are important to you that you hope your kids will Yeah, absolutely. Will follow. Yes. Right? And yeah. and if and watches is a simple thing. Yeah. It really is. And yeah. I think it's actually for everybody. I mean yes. um, my I would tell you I have five kids. If I had X amount of watches, <clears throat> I have 20 less because each one has taken three or four. Yes. When they wear it, it reminds them of you. Yes. And it's actually nice. Yeah. Right? And you'll see them wearing a watch and go, oh, how do you like that? And they go, love it. Why? You want it back? I'm like, no, no, it just looks good. I just, I miss it. <laughs> do you remember the watch your father had? I do. I have it. My, so my dad only had one watch. Right. Um, you know, so it, it was just a gold, um, it was a Seiko, you know, but it was a gold one. And I still have the same one. I mean, I have it and wow. it, it, it's nice, but he, he had one watch. Mm -hmm. And I wear that every now and then and same, for the same reason, it reminds you of your dad. In some ways, you know, with the more he bucks, you know, you have all these, you know, adopted new children in your family. Do you mentor them in the same way around watch Well, Giannis collecting? loves watches. Right. He really does. And what's happened is a lot of the players have, same thing, have really gotten into watches. Giannis now has become a huge watch collector. And I think he, you know, he invested in the company. He loves it. But, you know, you're now seeing, I would say, Chris Middleton and a number of the other players. Um, they really enjoy they enjoy wearing nice watches, right. and we'll talk about different watches. It's funny, you, it actually brings a lot of people together, so it's been a lot of Do fun. Do you find that that watch culture Mark, is you know, alive and kicking in the locker room? Do the, you know, the athletes in general, is this something that's common interest? I think it is. I think people share information. Hey, I've got this dealer. You should talk to him. So um, it, it actually is very nice. I mean, I, think, I find that people are very helpful with each other. Yes. I mean, for us men, it's wine. Wine, Please. watches, cars. Is there anything else we collect? Mm. <laughs> I'll stop you there. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm done. I don't collect <laughs> You guys are both incredibly busy. And, uh, you know, f from Watchbox, we really appreciate for you guys taking time out of your busy schedule and sharing stories. We, you know, we love you guys. And uh, look forward to catching up again and doing this one more time. Thank you, Mark. Thank, Thank you, Michael. You. All right. <laughs> well, I got to come over, and, uh, Dad, and I check know. Out your watches. <laughs> this is great. Thank you.